You know, after shootings like this, the NYPD, again, as they do, amping up patrols around busy shopping centers here in the city out of caution. Governor Cuomo also lending his voice to the tragedy as well. News 4's Ida Siegel live in Hudson Yards now with how New Yorkers are reacting to this tragic news. Ida. Well, Adam, it's become rather common to see a police presence at a big open public space like this one here, the Hudson Rail Yards, where police have been all day. As you mentioned, there's no credible threat here in New York, but the reality is sinking in that it can happen anywhere. At Hudson Yards today, the NYPD was standing guard, not because of any specific threat here, but because it has been an exceptionally violent weekend nationwide. And New York is not immune to a mass shooting in a crowded public place. I feel safe. I mean, it's still a low percentage chance of anything happening. Um, but, I mean, this is happening so much in the country, like every few weeks. And you know, we just had two in the same day. It's unbelievable. So it, it comes to a point where I mean, we have to kind of do something about it. Police could be found at Penn Station and Grand Central Terminal. Word of attacks in El Paso and Dayton has people shaking their heads today. Governor Cuomo on MSNBC said the nation is inflicted with a virus. There is racism, there is hatred, there is anger. We have a virus of hate in this society that is breathing, it's breathing on the internet. Cuomo says the solution needs to be legislated in Washington and he challenged the next presidential candidate to be clear about their intentions. Will you ban assault weapons? Will you ban high capacity magazines? Will you close all the background uh, loopholes so anyone who buys a gun mm -hmm. goes through a background check so mentally ill people and felons don't buy guns that they shouldn't have? Rebecca Fisher at New Yorkers Against Gun Violence says this has been a particularly disheartening weekend. She wants more states to pass something known as the red flag bill. That gives family, household members, and law enforcement the opportunity to go to a court and temporarily remove guns from individuals who've shown, been shown to be dangerous to others or in crisis. Critics of the red flag bill say it violates gun owners' rights because it doesn't give them the opportunity to defend themselves in court. Uh, Republican Congressman Peter King from Long Island tweeted out today that he supports sensible gun legislation, but also psychological study of what inspires these shooters and what, what their state of mind is. Reporting live from the Hudson Yards, Ida Siegel, News 4, New York.